Hello everyone, let me tell you my story about the Abruzzo Rally Raid 2023. Let's see this awesome event through my camera and how this random encounter changed my riding style forever. I know, I know him. I know all the bad guys around. <laughs> so everything okay? Everything. Tutto bene. Was the road good, uh, perfect. Everything was perfect. Weather, I think it's perfect today. Not hot, not cold. I think it's mm -hmm. perfect. We are close to the sea. I think we're okay. <laughs> After the first contact with our old and new friends, first things first. The beer. Cheers! Cheers. The second most important thing, the check-in. This one is for it and that one is for the wine. The beer? Yes. That one that's important. Well, that, this one, <laughs> this one here, is here. Here. Right, Thank you. Thank you. Grazie mille. Ciao. So, I have my license. I have my number. And I have my beer. What else needed? A nice ride tomorrow. <laughs> What us making some photos with friends and then just go and discover the paddock. Yes, here we can see many interesting motorbikes like this old BMW GS or this new KTM or this new KTM or this old Yamaha Super Tenere with several extremely peculiar solution. <gasps> well, just check the details. Yeah, <laughs> this explains everything. So, yeah, I think it's time to clear my head. The beautiful sunset made me think about the meaning of life. And thinking of that, I got hungry. So I thought it's time to turn in the dinner tickets. No, no. no. This later, after later, 8 o'clock. But not here. Not oh. here. Probably where they... After discovering the food supply plans of the event, I had to find another source of food under the ticket validation time. And the solution was local food, the Arosticini. <laughs> While I was really happy about the pile of the juicy meat, I was totally unaware of this guy in the blue shirt and yellow hat who will teach me the secret of riding on the gravel and change my riding style forever. But this will only happen next day, so let's focus now on this fine grilled lamb on the small wood stick. Yum! And then suddenly a blonde cyclone emerged from the night. Ciao! Ciao! <laughs> uh, it's around the... Uh -huh. So it's so well uh -huh. Yeah, and we know if without any windshield, so my neck is like... <laughs> After we ate a dozen arrosticini, finally the ticket food was ready as well. This was a nice round for the food, also probably the last time when I was ahead of Giovanni Sala on this weekend. He is a six-time Enduro World Champion, four-time International Enduro six-day winner, and in third place on the Dakar Rally. He is officially FIM legend for his achievement. Eccolo, gnocchi con fagiolo. Ciao. You have your camera on. Yeah. No, no. After a little more mingle with these nice and happy people, we decided to call it a day. Just said ciao and gone into the night. Ciao! ciao. 
only wake up is not my style. So it was time to fill up the tank with gas. Let's go. Yeah, let's go because I still need to prepare the gear for the next day. You know, charging the cameras, saving the widows, preparing the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and pray for a safe ride. When I just think about, I wish there will be very few water crossing, and if it is, just very shallow and comfortable. Also, I felt positive about the dirt roads. I think it will be just a piece of cake, yeah. an easy ride. There are some people riding like this, and I'm fighting for my life. 